are cognizant, though, that within democracies, there is freedom of association, there is freedom of uh, expression within that freedom that gives people the right to undertake actions that uh, may be disrespectful, they may be repugnant, that may be disgusting. This is the moment far-right Danish politician Rasmus Paludin burned a copy of the Quran during his so-called Quran burning tour, which had police protection. This year alone, several far-right and anti-Muslim groups in Sweden, Norway and the Netherlands have done the same. Rarely are such scenes broken up by the police. Uh, European countries seem to apply a double standard, for example. The Holocaust denial is not acceptable and they take legal actions about this thing. But when it comes to Islamophobia, when it comes to Islamophobic actions like burning Quran, they seem to ignore this. Sweden is no stranger to Islamophobia, with mosques often targeted by arson attacks. In 1991, 25-year-old student from Iran was shot in the face. In 1993, two Somali boys were stabbed and a mosque burned down. An arson attack on Malmo Mosque in 2003, with another taking place only two years later in 2005. In 2014, more arson attacks took place in three mosques. In 2017, an Islamic centre was burned down. In 2022, Paladin burned a copy of the Holy Quran. Like we have a resolution against anti-Semitism, we have a resolution against anti-Gypsyism. Do we have a resolution against Islamophobia or anti-Muslim racism or however you want to call it? No. Yeah.